Absolutely. 615 is the current time. All right. In the sports world, the only thing that's certain these days is uncertainty. Many organizations are figuring out just what they should do, like the Atlanta Track Club, which of course hosts the AJC Peachtree Road Race. Alex Glaze caught up with race director Rich Kina, who says as of now, the race is on. The Atlanta Track Club is preparing for the 51st running of the Peachtree Road Race, but this year the planning process has been different. Our staff is getting intimately familiar with Google Hangout. There are roughly 35 people working on the plan for the peach tree, and all of them are following the recommendations and guidelines the city of Atlanta has in place to fight the coronavirus. The Atlanta Track Club is planning full steam ahead with the understanding that things might not go as planned. There is nothing off the table. Uh, in our planning process for 2020. In these times of uncertainty, uh, we have to plan for everything. Planning for everything includes postponement and cancellation of the race. In the previous 50 consecutive runnings of the peach tree, there has never been a cancellation or postponement. The race has always happened on the 4th of July. This year, with health and safety on the minds of almost everybody, the most important thing is ensuring that everything is safe for the world's largest 10K. Our mission is about health and fitness. Um, so we won't have this event uh, if there's any doubt of, about our ability to deliver it in, in a safe manner on July 4th. Uh, 60,000 of your closest friends all running shoulder to shoulder. Chesley, you're no stranger to the Peachtree Road Race. I know that the Atlanta Track Club, they pride themselves on overcoming the adversity with the weather, the heat, the lightning, some minor delays. But you talk about yourself being up at the top of Cardiac Hill. You get high fives. You get hugs. What do you think about this? I mean, we're talking July. We're talking three months away, maybe. Yeah, you, you can't do it. I mean, there's so so much close contact. There's a lot of people there. Of course, you just talked about that. Your body fluids coming out. Uh, I've stood on Cardiac Hill for almost 10 years or about 10 years, and folks come up and they hug you. And by the time you're at the end of the day, even though I don't run, I'm, I'm drenched in sweat, you know, high five and that kind of thing. You're right up on people. I think you really can't do it. Yeah, and I know the in-training program is supposed to start next month. I'm a part of that as well. I would imagine that's going to be on hold. Folks could still probably train on their own, but then you talk about people that come in from all over the world. The Kenyans pride themselves on winning this. This is the world's largest 10K, so a lot of folks having to do some travel. I don't know if three months is going to be enough time to prepare for this, but we'll keep an eye on things. Certainly keep in touch with the, uh, with the uh, Atlanta Track Club. Chesley, going to let you do some weather now, my friend.